What is your name? My name is Sirisha, sir. Okay, sister, can you please introduce yourself? Yes, sir. I feel some pleasure to introduce myself. As I have already mentioned, my name is Sirisha. I basically belong to Warner, but currently staying in Hyderabad. And I recently have completed my graduation from Sussex in the stream of electronics and communication engineering with an aggregate of 71 percentage. And uh, as a part of my academics, I have uh, done a project in IoT domain, that is IoT based home automation. And uh, I'm comfortable with the programming languages like C, Java, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And uh, during my academics, uh, I have participated in 24 hours hackathon conducted by Telangana IT Association. And uh, coming to my hobbies, uh, I'm very interested to make paper crafts, cooking, and gardening. And that's all I work myself. So how do you rate yourself in Java? I would like to rate myself uh, as 8. So what is Java architecture? Explain Java architecture. Yes, uh, first of all, the Java files are uh, stored. I mean, uh, they are saved with the dot Java files. Then uh, after them, like, they are compiled so that they are converted to uh, source file. Then with the help of uh, Java interpreter, like uh, in Java interpreter, we have J, uh, JRE, uh, it will convert the source file to machine file. No, they will convert the source code into the bytecode, byte and then bytecode is converted into the machine, machine code. What is the compiler? Compiler will convert the source code into the bytecode. Okay. What is an interpreter? Interpreter will convert the bytecode into the machine code. So who is acting as interpreter here? In, uh, JVM is acting as interpreter. So, can you give me the various functions of JVM? JVM, um, JVM will come, uh, JVM will come convert the um, bytecode into the machine code and it will perform whatever the commands we give in a program, it will uh, convert, uh, it will do all those operations. It executes the program, it has the spreadsheet to the. Yes. Okay. What is garbage collection? Garbage collection is nothing but. For example, when we are creating an object, and memory will be allocated for them. So when we are, um, by using, with the help of garbage collection, we can delete the memory which is allocated to those objects. So who is responsible for this process? Um, who will perform this garbage collection activity? It is done by the JDK. It is done by the JDK. So what is JDK? JDK stands for Java Development Kit. It consists of various tools like JRE. Uh, it also consists of library files. Contains development tools. Mm -hmm. Give some Java features. Mm, there are various features like uh, it is very it is a simple language portal and uh, it is a independent uh, platform independent language. That means we can write a, a Java code in any uh, any operating system and we can. After compiling, we can take that code into any operating system and then we can run that program. So Java is platform independent, yeah. but how Java is becoming platform independent? Uh, because it supports, uh, because it is, uh, it, it can, after compiling that code, that code is compatible to any operating system. So with the help of compiler, because of compiler. So which code is responsible? Uh, Bytecode. Byte byte so the bytecode is common for all the operating okay. systems. So that's the reason it is platform independent. What do you mean by portable? Portable means, mm, it, yes, uh, portable means we can run it on any platform. Then what is the difference between platform independent and portable? What is the general meaning of portable? It can withstand on any conditions. Not exactly. We can move from one place to the other place. The general meaning. So here in Java, we can take the Java program from one machine to the other machine. We call it as portal. Okay. What is meant by dynamic loading? Dynamic loading is uh, we can if we can write. For example, if you write some code in one class. And we can also call these methods into another class also. That, um, for in Java, it supports uh, dynamic loading of classes from its uh, other languages also, like C++. Uh, from other programs? From other programs also, we can load that classes. Well, Java is an object-oriented programming language. Yes. 
What do you mean by object-oriented programming language? An object-oriented programming language supports various features like encapsulation, abstraction, inheritance, these features. What is abstraction? Abstraction, it uh, basically provides the code security. That means uh, we can uh, show only the important details of the code and uh, hide the unnecessary details. What is, how do you achieve this abstraction? We can achieve abstraction by using uh, two methods. One is by using abstraction class and by using interface. So what is meant by an abstract class? Abstract, an abstract class will show only the method signature but hide the method body. What is meant by abstract method? Method. It contains only method signature. So it doesn't contain body. And the method body will arrive in a class. And is it the same thing for the abstract class? What is an abstract class? Abstract class which contains abstract methods. And non abstract methods. So, can we create an object for the abstract class? Abstract class, yes. Sir. Can we create an object for abstract class? Yes, sir. So, we cannot create an object for abstract class. We have to create the object for the. In, we have to create the object for the implement, uh, extending classes, I mean, child classes. Okay. What is an interface? Interface is similar to class, but it contains uh, abstract methods. Abstract methods and object variables also. What is meant by final? final? Can you explain about final here? Yes, sir. If you declare any variable or a method as final, then uh, final methods cannot be overridden. And final methods and final variable values cannot be changed. They are even fixed. What is mean? What is the different? Uh, what is mean by finalized method? Why do we use finalized method? Mm, finalized method is used for garbage collection. Garbage collection. What? Uh, so can we overload main method? No, sir. Main method cannot be overloaded because it is a static method. Main method is always static. But can we? Yes, we can overload the main method. We cannot overwrite the main method. We can overload the main method, but we cannot overwrite the main method. What is meant by method overloading? In method overloading, we can take two or more methods with the same name, but the number of parameters should be different, or the data types of the, uh, should be different, or the order might be different. What is meant by method overriding? Um, the child class method will override the parent class method when we are in method class. What is the class? Class is a combination of code and data. That means it contains a method and the variables. So can you give some examples of predefined classes? Predefined classes. Okay. So what is a string? String, uh, string is a collection of characters. Okay. It's a predefined class. It is a predefined class. So what is the difference between string and string buffer? String buffer, we can string buffer is mutable, but string is not mutable. It is mutable. We cannot add extra characters to it. So what is a package? Package and in package we store all the similar kind of data, similar type of classes. So can you give some examples of packages, predefined packages? Util package, Java or LAN package. SQL. So which is the default package in Java? Java is Java or LAN package. What is an exception? Exception means it's a runtime error. It's a runtime error. So why do we need to handle these exceptions? If you do not handle these errors, um, when we are using an application, we may not get the proper output or the user may confuse with the result of that output. So there are three things, the main three things that you need. Yes, sir. So to return the resources. Normally. And to further normal flow of the program. And to avoid the unnecessary stopping of the program. Okay. So what is then what is the multi-threading? Multi-threading is nothing but uh, execution of multiple threads simultaneously. What is meant by a thread? Thread is a unique part between the client and the server. 
Uh, through which the client and server can react. Can you explain the various uh, phases of a thread? Yes, sir. A new state, it, it has a new state, runnable state, running state, waiting state, and then state. So, how do you invoke the run method? By using run. So, we have an inbuilt run. A defined run method. How do you create a thread? By using an object, object. creating object. an object for the thread class. Creating an object for thread. By extending in two ways, we can create this. Yes, sir. By using a thread class and another by using the interface. Which interface? Runnable interface. Runnable interface. So, which is the best way to create an inter uh, thread? Runnable interface. Why? Because interface can extend more than two classes also. Like with the help of class, we can extend only one one parent class. What is an array list? An array list. Um, I don't know. So what is the difference between a constructor and a method? What is the class variable? Class variable, uh, class variable means it, it is declared inside a class and outside a method. So it can be accessed by all the, all the methods inside the class. What is the local variable? Local variable is defined inside a method, so it can be accessed only within that method. So, can you write the uh, one program? Yes. So, write a program for reverse of another.
institution, your communication is very good, and the way you explain is also very good. But the thing is, you are getting confused in few concepts, and the collections is one of the main topics, so that you need to learn even more better. Okay. Sure, sir. Next time I'll be happy. Thank you.